Hello, Chef Jack. It's me, Maya Chef Jack. Welcome to another Idea Sunday, Season Two, Episode. Today, we'll be trying to combine two transparent cabochons into something. And what I decided to do, make a hat for Carmela. I want it to be removable, but still look good. So here I'm going to glue her a press that here, and the opposite side one there. Glued the press stud into Carmela's hair. Now it has to dry, and then I'm going to put the opposite side on the cabbage on the pink flower. And now we have to let it dry. I want to keep the colors and the transparency of it, but the butterfly is purple. Hmm. I'm keeping the color scheme. However, I decided to give the butterfly some markings with beads and you'll see them when I apply them once the butterfly has red litchi mallow markings I'm going to let them dry and about the flower, I think I'll do a little bit of decorating it into a cherry. But a cherry with detailing on it. So I'm thinking, what a narwhal that I... It's supposed to be a micro table, but... I was practicing my skills back in that day because I made it years ago and never used it. Same with the micro mermaid that I've made. Or maybe just beads or maybe just use these as inspiration for what I'm going to put on the flower. Well. Maybe I'll make the mermaid smaller or the narwhal smaller than this. And without the white paper base, just transparency. That's what I want today. Okay, Chef Trax. I'm on eBay and I'm looking at those caramel orange beads. They look really beautiful from this image of them and I'm thinking of ordering it online. Hadn't done so yet but I'm thinking about it. I've checked the reviews are good and everything looks nice so I'm going to talk to my mom about this. And if I order them online, I'll let you know later in the video, cause I'm still deciding on the design. I ordered online the caramel beads. They haven't arrived at the time when I filmed this clip, but I'm waiting on it. And you'll get to see it at the end of the episode. I was considering the butterfly. Should I keep it removable or should I make it 
stationary on the hat so you cannot remove it and it will not fall off well on Carmella it's like this This is the back of Carmella and how the butterfly would look best at the back of it. For the front it would look best like this. However, I have to be very careful so it doesn't fall off. And I maybe have to try to balance it or Use plastic to hold Carmella because look at this. As Carmella grows up, I may change this, but she's like this for now. My beads for the hat arrived. I think I had to mark out the addresses because i don't want people to know it especially that this is the public domain and that everyone can see it worldwide and i don't want my address to be seen worldwide so i have marked it out now I'm going to check it and see if I have the beads that I have ordered. I checked the package and yay! They are here! Just like what I wanted. Online they looked more orange, but in person and on camera they are very caramel. So... The character who I'm making this for is Carmela and Carmela, Caramel, you get it. I'm so happy that they arrived and hi Caramel the color is, hi cube shaped they are. Yay, finally, and I found this on eighth of june and once they're finished i upload them and set premieres because normally i tend to upload ideas on days ahead of time and then put them up for like premiere so they're not available to watch until Sundays that I have scheduled the video for, but they are there. Just not available to watch until the scheduled day. Now I'm going to see how will this be decorated into the hat. Before I glued it on the hat, I took the beads and decided to see it on the hat. And it looks like I could put like caramel cubes on the cherries and maybe after the glue dries, turn it into caramel. I have find out the range this acrylic white glue that was on sale and I'm going to use it I do have a lot of clear ones but because I'm making caramel effect I'll use this and I question that choice to buy the beads for the hat before they got ordered and arrived but since i've ordered them and they arrived decided to do it seen it on the hat and i'm happy with it so i'm using some of these if i don't use them all i could always find 
other projects to use these in. Once the caramel is glued on, I will let it dry. For the butterfly, I want to keep the transparency, make it caramel, however it's purple. So, this marker will have to do. The purple was this light that I was able to change the color of it so much just with this marker. The echo time has actually outdone themselves with that. Especially on such a light purple color while this warm caramel is actually kind of a yellow type of color then I've added black lines to make it look even more like a butterfly and I'll stop decorating the butterfly there okay chef tracks that's the finished hat it's a cherry hat with a butterfly, a caramel butterfly that can be removed, so the cherry with the caramel on it is like without the butterfly the caramel is revealed and I like this so I'm not going to glue the butterfly permanently on I'm going to keep it removable so I could have options and it suits Carmela really well I've made her a new dress to go with it like not a dress but this is a top with shorts then add the skirt and then I had to get her a new ladder for her bedroom because when she was a baby she didn't need it but the, now she's two or three years old she's learned how to walk so she needs the ladder to get into her bed so what do you think of this please tell me And if you hear alarms, that's just my neighbors, so sorry about my neighbors doing the alarm. Please tell me what do you think of the hat and also the caramel detailing was the reason why I ordered this online. I did question the choice before getting to this stage, but it turned out to be a really, really good idea. And even more potential for the hat. Okay, bye Chef Jack, see you in the other episodes. Bye!